table a former ranking event finalist, Rod Lawler, and former shootout semi-finalist, Martin O'Donnell. Yeah, O'Donnell, the semi-finalist two years ago, and Lawler, twice a quarter-finalist, including last year. So they've shown a bit of form in this event before as they lag we're going to speak to Alex who's just won that last one I was saying to you Alex before we came on you seemed when you walked in you looked like right I'm going to enjoy this you got the crowd on your side right from the off well the thing is if you if you come into this tournament and you lose you, you know you want to enjoy it you know because that's all about in this tournament in my opinion so if you lose at least you want to enjoy it so that's what I was thinking you know and I did enjoy winning as well <laughs> yeah obviously you never know what's going to happen you know I mean Hussein missed uh, two or three balls he normally pots and uh, I was fortunate to get over the line first but um, you know you never know in this tournament but it's one thing as well it obviously it's one table so everyone plays on the main table it's not like some of them maybe the home nations where you're down on table seven there's no atmosphere there's certainly atmosphere here uh, yeah there is and I know there's many players who don't actually uh, um, enjoy this atmosphere um, I'm not going to call any names but um, I know who they are and uh, I'm definitely not one of them <laughs> so well another match gets underway as I say these two uh, had some good results between them in this event in the past. Rod Lawler is actually he's 127th on the average shot times this season out of 128, so you would think it wouldn't suit him, but in fact he's got no choice, he's got to play quick. Maybe that will uh, spur him into action here. The thing is with the, with the players who actually who normally play slow like Rod or some others, they actually play, I think they play better in this tournament because they made, they, they're being made to play quick and they've got no time to think, so um, they're just doing what they're supposed to do and that's putting balls. Yeah, and also, Rod he is on, on the slow side, but he's a very attacking player, actually. He goes for his shots, it just takes him a bit longer, maybe, than some of the other players. Anyway, yet no, nothing down yet, after one minute. It's the time to think about tactics. Obviously, if you get in front, you've got to stay in front, but there's so much to think about, isn't it? The shot clock, the, the, everything else, the crowd, everything. Yeah, I'm, I was in that uh, position where I, I didn't know what to do, like, two or three times, but then you just got to play the first thing you see, like, probably what a beginner would play in the first day of snooker. So uh, there's really not a lot of time to think, you've just got to get on with it. Well, they call Mondo Donald the Minister of Defence, but uh, you've got to go on the attack at some point if he gets a chance. Is this going to reach? Is it going to hit a red? Oh, yes. he's just about did. There's a foul, is deadly, obviously, under this uh, former snooker. Cue ball anywhere. But he has left a chance. Slightly stretching, maybe. Rod Lola one. One. I guess as well, Alex, it's one of those torments. You know, there's no point looking at the draw, really. It's, it doesn't really matter who you play. It's about the format, isn't it? Well, yeah, I was thinking of that as well, because uh, when I was playing Hussein, I thought, you know what, you know, I don't really want to play him, because he's a very good potter, and, you know, I know how good he can play. But then, on the other side, anything can happen. We, we saw Stuart Bingham go out, Mark Selby go out, um, a few other good players go out. So you, you never know what's going to happen. It's only one frame. So, so all you can do, like I said, is just enjoy it. Donald just looking to build up an early lead here. And just to reiterate, we've got Ryan Evans next up against Ian Burns. Seven. Let's hope she gets more than one shot. And then, of course, the other female player, Mink, last night. What a what a shame that was for her. Broke off. Pretty good break-off shot and then sat out at 1-3-3. Three, three. Did, didn't she come all the way from Thailand to play one shot? I mean, that, you know. 6,000 miles. Meanwhile, meanwhile, that's a good shot from O'Donnell. So this is looking good for him. 24.
doesn't have to play the pot if he's not sure about it. It's 31 in front. I don't think that goes. Maybe with a tiny bit of side. Uh, That's what I'm saying. He didn't need to play it because he's in front. He could have protected the lead, but he has done. He's given Rod Lawler a chance. So well, That will hurt him if he loses this now. Yeah, because he didn't have to play it, but anyway, it's out of his hands. No, not the best of starts for Rod. Oh, great pot. Alex, well done today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good luck for the rest of the tournament. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, Mance is going to join us for the back of this match, and it's getting interesting now. Oh dear, but he's missed that one. I don't know whether maybe he's put off by the announcement of the 10 second shot clock. He didn't really get close to it. And Martin O'Donnell will be very relieved to get another chance here. One. He's not lacking for any encouragement from the from the, the crowd, is he? Martin O'Donnell. Good frame this. They're doing well to keep his composure considering they've invented a new song for Martin. Seven. the boat out didn't he with that red that he took on that he wasn't clear whether it went on another day could have been punished but he wasn't and he's got them where he wants them now three minutes 40 left building up a good lead 45 so got to mind his work here environment that when a player normally plays a shot you want to hear the click of the balls the, 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 the feeling and the sound and you almost oh as one goes wrong but I think it's times not of the essence for Rod where the Reds are also but yeah it's, it's difficult with the noise out there you don't really hear yourself hitting the shot Let's see, he's 50 behind, two and a half minutes. Five. Six. Can Rod Lawler, all people, win a race against the clock? You could say before that red there, 12 shots to make the clearance, and, and with two minutes left, you, you would say maybe it's possible. But of course, the cue ball is going to be running around, so that eats 20. up some of the clock as well. And how does he get on the red off this? Well, he's missed it anyway. That surely is all she wrote now for this match. again though those corner pockets are getting super tight we've got to, of course one more match to come in this session and it features Rian Evans 12 times women's world champion against Ian Burns a lot of anticipation for that one it's coming up imminently Martin O'Donnell semi-finalist 2018 looks like he survived into the third day of the shootout there's the handshake. 
Lawler did have that chance but didn't make much from it and O'Donnell delighted to get back in front and delighted with the crowd support he's had here as well our latest man through to round two in Watford so coming up next it's Ryan Evans 12 times the wins world champion against Ian Burns